Raymond Doswell is our guest. He joins us from the Negro League Baseball Museum. Talk about that social media piece, because these days, certainly the younger generation who really doesn't seem to embrace history as though we did, but they do get their information in a social media digital platform and how you will use that to keep the memories, because you and I were blessed enough to have interacted with a lot of the people that they're going to be reading about, quite frankly. And uh, social media will sort of keep them alive, won't it? Well, I think more importantly, it will hopefully spark interest. I mean, you're not going to get full biographies and documentaries through social media. Uh, but the idea is that you're introducing uh, names, dates and facts for people and get them curious about the history. Oh, I didn't know about this person or this person sounds interesting or I didn't know about that fact or that event in history. And the idea is to spark the imagination and get them to want to look up more on their own. And then, of course, we have resources via the web on our website and other websites. And MLB also has resources now on their website about the Negro League. And there are other uh, places that they can go and look. And hopefully if they want to dig and learn a little bit more that'll help branch them off into some other areas to learn about the connections of baseball to african-american history and american history more broadly 